do you like it when you hear stories of that people are talking about you behind your back and then you get people who are nice to your face? It's a horrible thing. And yet it happens more and more in this day and age. You've not only got that, but you also have those people that when you're talking to them, when you look them in the eye, they'll chat to you, but you kind of know that they're sneering at you. And that's too prevalent in this day and age. And what's more, social media has become a total cesspit. There are people willing to write terrible things about different people. And it makes life a really, really miserable way to go on. I have examples of that. I've certainly had it on this channel where people have told me that I'm rubbish and that I should shut the channel down and do something else with my life because obviously I'm no good at this. But the worst ones, I think, were when my marriage broke down, I would get people running to me, telling me about the things that people were saying about me. They all hurt me tremendously because a lot of what I was hearing were lies. And there's nothing worse than knowing that your reputation is being ripped to pieces by people for no reason other than their entertainment, really. And so we've all had those things in our lives where we know it's going on and all we do is kind of feel sad about it because none of us like being talked about, do we? It's just, it's just one of those things. And the thing is, you have to think about why people are willing to do this and why they're willing to talk to you about this. The one thing I think straight away, though, is that people who talk about you or write about you or do all sorts of things, anything that's derogatory about you, those people are just small-minded. I think they're jealous of you. Because if they weren't, why are they taking any notice of you at all? My dad used to say, that people like to see you move on, but not in front of them. And that's certainly a reason that a lot of people do it. They can see that you're putting the effort in and you're trying your best to move on in life, but they know that they're not. And because of that, rather than look at themselves in a way that's going to make them feel bad, they'd rather talk about you and they'll get their little group of friends and I have to say, there was a time when people said that women only did, but it's not true because I've been around loads of men that have done it and it always makes me just want to walk away. I don't like being around it. It's like if you have friends that fall out, two friends, you're friends with both of them and then one of them tries to get you to take sides with them about the other one. And I, there's many a time I've had to say to them, whoa, whoa, don't do this. I ain't playing in that game. I like you both. Neither of you done anything wrong to me. I'm not being part of it. And they get the up with you over that as well. And some people are so spiteful, I suppose the word I'm looking for is, they just want to rip people to pieces. It's I've never understood it. My mum and dad taught me to never be envious of people and to always celebrate people's success because it's like when the tide comes into a harbour, it raises all the boats. And that's what I think success does. And so people who are spiteful and who are jealous are not worth your time, to be honest with you. They are not worth wasting your time on. And there's a thing about people that are critical about you. Some of them will do it to your face. They don't mind doing it to your face. And in a group of people, they'll do it in such a way that they'll make it seem like a joke, but you know that it's not. And there have been times when that's happened to me. 
I can remember it happening at a funeral not so many years ago. And someone tried to belittle me. Well, in fact, they didn't try. They did in front of a group of people. And I let it go because of the time and the place. However, person now knows not to do it again. And so you've got all of this negativity around us from these people who really don't want to move on themselves. They'd rather stand on the sidelines and look. So what do we do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you in just a minute. But before I do, can you click that like button if this video is making any sense to you? And if you're just watching for the first or second time, check out a few more videos. And then if you like that, subscribe. If you know anyone who's suffering and going through this case where negative comments are hurting them, Perhaps share the video with them because what I'm going to say now may just make them think slightly differently. So what are you to do? Well, first of all, you've got to realize that everyone is entitled to their opinion. All those people out there who have something to say about you or are critical, they're entitled to their opinion, but you don't have to listen to it. You don't have to take notice of it. And I'll tell you why. Because you know the truth. And that's so important. When someone's ripping at you and pulling you down and trying to affect your reputation, you know what's the truth and you know what's not. And one thing I've found is that people have run to me over the years to tell me what people are talking about me and what they're saying about me. And so it always gets back. And what it does to me, it makes me lose all respect for somebody. It's as simple as that. All you have to do, and this is where the fun starts, is carry on doing what you're doing and put a smile on your face. Because there is nothing that upsets them more than seeing you smile or seeing you having fun, or seeing you moving on in your life and enjoying yourself. But there's also this. They can talk about you, but the thing is, all they can do is watch. That's all they can do. They're not in the position to stop you doing whatever you want to do in life, because that's your decision. They can be as nasty as they like, and yet all they can do is watch. And the thing is, when you know who it is that's talking about you, or you know who it is that's writing snidey little comments at you, it's an awful lot of fun to just smile at them and wink at them when you see them. I do that all the time. And you say, oh, it really winds them up even more. And so I think you've got to realize that if you're to move on in your life, in the way that you want, you need to tell yourself that anyone who criticizes you, who talks about you behind your back, who's spiteful to you, in your, to your face even, just let them go. To me, I'll tell you what I do. When I find someone who's talking about me, is I treat them as though they're dead. I can walk past them in the street, grin to myself, which will annoy them, and I just carry on doing my thing. And that's what I suggest you do as well. Now, if you click there, I've got a video there that's going to tell you that not everyone is going to like you. There are some more reasons on there as to why that happens and ways I've come overcome that myself over the years. So click on that button. I'm sure you'll find that of use. And I will see you next time.